In this video, I'm going to cover how to create a smooth backdrop for your objects, like you see here. Start by creating a new scene in Cinema 4D. Next, add a cube to your scene, and set the number of segments on Z to 2. Set the X size of your object to 600, so it's quite a bit wider than it is tall, and then make it editable. We're now going to use our polygon tools to select a few polygons and delete them. So select the polygon tool and your selection tool. Ensure that only select visible elements is turned on and click and drag to paint select the polygons in the front and these two polygons on the left hand side and delete them. You should now have three polygons, one uh, wider than the others. Next, hit command A on your keyboard inside of your viewport to select all of your polygons. Next, set their Y position to 100. That moves them up to the floor and as we can see here they're blue when they're selected which means that they're facing away from us. So let's go ahead and reverse their normals. Right click and choose reverse normals. The now polygons are now orange that means they're facing towards us. I'm going to deselect the polygons, go back to my polygon, or rather my model tool, and rename my cube here to Backdrop Mesh. Next, add a Hypernerbs object to your scene and drag your Backdrop Mesh into your Hypernerbs. Rename your Hypernerbs object Backdrop. You can now take your scale tool and your model tool and resize this backdrop to be as large as you need it to be. You can add a cube to your scene for size reference. Just move the cube up to the floor by setting its Y position to 100. Rotate your camera around so you can take a look at it and we can see that already we can fill our frame with our backdrop. We've got a nice, nicely sized backdrop. However, when we render, uh, especially if we start adding lights to our scene, uh, we notice that we don't have perhaps quite as much detail as we would like. Uh, and that becomes especially true when we turn on something like soft shadows. So to correct this, uh, especially these lines that we see right here, we need to increase the polygon count for our object. We can do that very easily by clicking on backdrop and choosing to increase the number of subdivisions in the editor and renderer. I'm going to cre and create uh, three subdivisions in the editor and I'm going to set renderer to 5 and then give it a render. We're getting a few of these errors still in our light and that's because my soft shadows are uh, casting shadows on the object itself and a quick solution to that is to go into your details tab or excuse me your shadow tab for your light and increase your shadow map size, which should correct the error. There you go. That's how you create a smooth and seamless background for your objects.